real quick, we've been having trouble with this uh, coil. It's leaking. If you look at the drain pan, it doesn't have a lot here, but it has it further down. There's ice and where that bucket is over there, it's leaking. So let's figure this out. First up, you have to keep the door closed when you put it in defrost, because if that's not closed, you won't get voltage to your system. So first off, we're gonna look at this name plate for electrical data, defrost heaters, 230 volts, okay? Right there. So now we're gonna test voltage at these heaters. Okay, we're gonna test voltage here. And then if we're gonna fall this other side, so this heater goes in a loop around, so this is two, two sides of, this is the beginning of the heater and then the end of the heater, is what you can think of it as. I'm gonna come up here and we're gonna test voltage there. So I already tested voltage there. I get 120 to ground from there, 120 to ground there. But if I check them to each other, very important, check voltage from there to inside this, this nut, uh, I get zero. So that means that there's one line of power, so we're losing a line of power somewhere. Remember, this needs 230 to work. So let's go look at the clicksons. So what I did was I've located those clicksons and the defrost termination sensor. You see that right there, right there. I know that the fans are 230 volts also from that name tag. I went to my truck, I got uh, a clickson and then I got the same exact defrost termination temperature just so I can read how it functions. So you can see two closes on temperature rise, three opens on temperature rise. Okay, so we should be getting voltage from number two to the defrost heaters, and uh, we should be having, you know, a common voltage too. So let's see if that's working. So now we're gonna look at this termination sensor. So you see I got that shoved into the red, which is the common, which gives us 120 to ground. Now you see I got it shoved in the brown, 120 to ground. So now I have it in that black one. Also gives 120 to ground. If you look at red to brown, zero. You see right now, um, black to red is our 208. So I'm not sure, but I think this thing might be wired in wrong. So we're gonna verify that this switch is working right. And as you can hear, the refrigeration has started back on. So I'm gonna have to go and turn back on the defrost. So I know what state this is in and I know it should be calling for the drain pan. Alrighty, so just to show you, I just put black tape on that one, red tape on this one, you know, on the side that's gonna connect over there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check continuity to see if this is doing what it needs to do. All right, so first we're gonna take this temperature here. So see it's 90, 98 degrees. So according to this, right closes on temperature rise so that means point number two which is brown to the common which is number one should be connected where number one to three should not be connected it opens at 55 closes at 35 we're almost at 100 degrees so we're going to test red to brown for ohms to see if they're connected so we got zero, so we can see that those two are connected. Um, so this switch is functioning properly. Now it's like, okay, let's go see what these lead to and and uh, whether or not this is hooked up correctly. So we're gonna trace out these wires quick. Just be like, notice the type that they are. Okay, just like this is, you know, has that little line in the middle and this is more rounded and we're going to try to see where they end up. So it's kind of hard to see without taking off the plenum, but if you look at they're just kind of run across the top. So they just end up over there. So let's see what, if we can make sense of it from over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of take stock of all the values. So we have, you know, A, N, X, uh, B, F, um, 4, um, and we're just going to kind of gloss over the wiring diagram super quick. Trenton L, I mean TLP evaporator wiring diagram. Now you gotta scroll through and you're gonna look for, um, in this case, we have hot gas defrost wiring diagram. It's electric, 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 hot gas right here. So you can see that we have 4FXN and then it has heater 1, heater 2 right there. This 
number four right there goes to one leg of the fan and it goes to one side of the defrost heater and then you can see this H2 right here there you can see that that um, connects back to this fan control heater right there and we have brown and red and black just like before um, so this red right here kind of what we're looking at are common is this N value right there and so it stands to reason that in order to make this heater work we need 208 in order to make the fans work over here we need 208 right so the common needs to have a 208 uh, difference between the brown and the black wire so I think what we'll do is I think this was miswired so we'll take the wires and we'll see what 208 it has um, and you know whatever one has 208 to both legs of power we will switch that there and we'll fire it up and we'll see how it works so those two have 208 the red one and the wire without tape are the same phase the red one and the wire with tape are not. So now we're going to hook up um, the wire with tape, the black tape, as our common. We'll see how that does it. So you can see that by connecting the red one and the brown, the fans move. So we're going to try connecting this one right here. So that's now connected. So now let's test the heater. This now has the correct amp draw from here to the other side. Now let's see, we're going to do amp draw of it. Getting 4.1. So while I was looking up the amperage for the hot gas, uh, for the pan heater to make sure that we got it right, I just let it do its thing and now you can see that the fans are on now that it, the refrigeration has started. Um, so we're going to just come over to this tag before we go back to our specs. And we're going to look at this um, defrost heater. You see how it has 1190 watts? That's how many watts it is. So we're going to look up that defrost heater in um, the manual. Page 9 of the manual, um, hot gas defrost with drain pan heaters. Uh, you see you have this fancy graft right there. Um, so if you look right here, we got drain pan heaters. Right, we're going to go down to the bottom and... Um, you see how it has this 1030, well, it has total total amps and then it has total watts. So you got your watts right there and then you have your total amps, okay? So we're gonna look to see if we find any amps that matches ours. I went with a mistake because I went with the 115 electrical data. It's a, it's a 208. 208 with the drain pan heaters. So the same exact thing. So we're going to look down here. And we had like 4.6, right? So if we look down here, we can see that this 1030 number, right? 1030 number will give us an amps of 4. 4, right? Now it actually doesn't have the, the model that we have. It doesn't have the same amperage. So the fact that what we have is a little bit over that. I think four and a half amps makes sense um, for the application that we have, seeing how it's not covered in this um, document. So if we look at it, we have 1190 um, and at uh, 1030 it is four amps. We had 4.6. Um, I think that it would make sense that with the higher rating of our drain pan, that it is functioning right. So now I'm gonna throw it back in the defrost because I know the fans work. I'm gonna just take a temperature at the drain pan and uh, should be all set. So now let's see if I can get a temperature there. So if we look 200 degrees, so it's working, good to go. So what happened was basically, uh, so this red one's the common, uh, this, this brown one is uh, the defrost uh, drain pan heater and this one is the other leg of the fan circuit so they hook the other leg of the fan circuit up to the common so when this would close on um, you know on the low temperature side right this would close um, that that switch up there it would close right connecting a common voltage um, to the fan circuit 
and then when it would close on defrost, it would connect the fan circuit to the drain pan heater, and they had the same leg of voltage, so um, it did nothing. So that was just it. So um, yeah, that's uh, I guess how you do it. Maybe you learned something today. I don't know.